a lot of blue stone. So now and then I pick out out of the blue someone who asks me a question. Uh, and uh, I give you this in return. So blue stone wonders wonder. Bluestone is a Sagittarius and wants to know whether or whether not it um, about the finances. So I can't tell for sure. I'm not a financial expert, but I can tell you how the cards, what they have to say in regards to the upcoming months. There's not a lot left, is there? We have October. Princess of Cups. Okay, so let's see what else do we have. Okay. So November. Okay. Uh, it looks like November, you might be a little bit stressed out, okay, uh, in regards to peace, but there is really nothing to worry about because you have, uh, this is benefit, uh, benefits, nine of coins, things, you know, you see the snail symbol here, so be patient. Uh, it's coming in for you here. Uh, it says here, basically, being self-sufficient. Nine of Coins is all about being independent. There is a resistance here, but this this energy of, of, of someone very generous, uh, someone who cares a lot about you is coming in here. It could be family and friends. And, and she also pops up in the split here. Uh, someone young, Someone old, it could be the same person who are just simply displaying different uh, traits, you know. Uh, I, myself, I, I can go from being very, uh, have a lot of authority in one moment and be, be childlike in the next moment. So it could be the same person, but there is this feminine energy here who seem to be have an impact here. Is, is it a boss? I don't know. But in regards to November, I don't think you need to worry about that month. Uh, let's check December. December is going to be rough. I don't know if you're a Christian, but I, I know from experience that I used to love December and hate December because you have to... You know, it's all about Jesus and all the people we need to to gift, you know. Uh, and so basically December, that's the, the, the month where we are spending up all our money to, you know, don't look, you know, we know Christmas and where I come from. We, we want to surprise the people we love. We don't want to disappoint them. And so most of the money, they disappear out the window on Christmas gear, on, uh, on uh, and although we get less tax in Norway, this is basically Jesus. It's a sacrifice. And, and the, the advice here is to be very careful because uh, this is a big, loss here in December so you might to keep uh, keep your coins uh, close here we also have oppression here the dimming of the light uh, and something that a closure uh, something about the case closed the world card that it doesn't talk about anything that has to do with travel um, Queen of Swords says uh, there needs to be a balance in regards to sacrifice and in regards to how much money we spend. Like I said, if you're a Christian in, in my culture, 
blue storm I have so many Indian and people from the East who ask me questions. So in, re in regards to that question, uh, you need to be careful in December because if not absolutely everything you've saved up or it's got to go. So if you plan on, I found my own way on giving gifts this year. I won't have my family around me, seems like. And so it's very little I spend on Christmas gifts. That's it. Uh, let's have a look at uh, January just for the sake of Jesus. Because this, uh, this uh, looks like uh, an attack on your bank account. Okay. Usually we have fun in December and then the hangover appears in January. So January for Blue Storm. Blue cards here. Perfect. Okay, show me January. And then also for many of us the money is coming very early in December. And we get a lot of them and we think, oh gonna be fine. And then most and then all the bills come in January. And most Norwegians are broke throughout January until the end of the month. That's my experience anyway. Uh, I don't know what country you live in, but Christmas is expensive. <clears throat> Buying trees, you know, having the most. So, so I don't know if you're one of them. Uh, if there is a different situation, I don't know exactly what it is. Uh, <clears throat> but you have 10 10 side by side here something is coming to an end and january is coming you're gonna feel good about something you have 10 of cups there there could be this tendency to over isolate here you need to be a little careful for that and people who carry masks but you will also experience a new change in your finances due to a deception that will disappear in front of your very eyes due to an illusion that will, it's like a matrix that basically disappear away from you. There's something about the destiny here, the wheel of fortune basically. And, and it seems like you're going to come back on your legs again but if you're not careful, your, your sense of abundance here might go down the drain again here with the Four of Cups in reverse. So good luck with that. Uh, if you watch out for December, watch out. Um, you don't need to struggle much in January. Thank you so much and uh, by the way, you're welcome.